you're famous. Shelby, you got a paparazzi. You got a paparazzi. Yeah. Okay, so, uh, Shelby's gonna go, and then if actually you go to your slides. Connor, please. 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 Connor, most of the time it's in a choreography, most of the time you will see the marching band use color guard, but in a choreography for all the marching steps. I find it really fascinating, but it's a lot harder than it seems. What is it? It's basically kind of like what Evan said, but not exactly. It's like what Evan and Jenna had said all together. It's basically like, yeah, you do spin a flag, but you also dance to the music, but it's a lot more complicated than it seems. You'll see a lot of people use like batons, flags, or just like, or just normal silks, just not with the, like the pole. And a lot of them have a lot of different design for a lot of different songs. Like for ours, we have about five, four, or five, four to five different flags for our songs, and it's pretty fun. <laughs> Why did I choose this topic? I chose this topic because I just thought it'd be interesting to learn, and it's something I want to be able to do when like next year when I get if I get to try out for it. It's something I would like to do because it just seems like a lot of fun. And I see and I just want to see what it's like being out there doing a choreography along with a flag. What was the challenge? My challenge was that it was you had to try not to hit yourself with a flag and like get tangled up in it because I did that like quite a few times. The hardest part I'd have to say throughout the whole thing was probably the toss because there are so many different situations you could have because when I was just practicing out just a few minutes ago there's something I was able to do at home but I can't do it here for some odd reason or you could toss it spin then catch it in the same position you're tossed it in and that is probably the hardest thing I've learned my success and failures my success was probably the flourish I would do it in here but I don't have room but the flourish was the first thing I learned, and it's where you bring it up in front of you and up around the back, and then bring it up front. That was one of my first successes, and I did fail at it a few times, so I did bring it back and like hit myself. Um, my fail, my biggest failure was definitely the toss, because I kept dropping and hitting my hand, and all kinds of stuff was going on. <laughs> what I did, every day I went home from after school, and I go out and get my flag, and I just go outside into my driveway or out on the lawn and just kind of practice it, along with some music, so I could get a beat to it and figure out what exactly I can do with it, and if I can do a toss at a certain time, or if there's a time where I need to ditch the flag, and things like that. How long it took? It took me about four, three to four weeks to do, because I did every other week, I'd switch the topic to what I did, and then during the weekend, I would just kind of review myself on what I had done the previous week. And the thing I learned from it was death. The thing I learned from it is that it does take a lot more, like, I guess you could say it sounds kind of stupid, but like belief in yourself. Because it's, you have to have more trust in yourself than you think. Because you need to, like, like I said, the toss, you need to toss it up. You need to catch it without hurting yourself or somehow damaging the flag. And you need to, like, do a lot of things like the butterfly that's one of my hardest I can't do that I've tried so many times but there are times where I came and hit myself in the back of the head or hit my shoulder and it's just really hard but it is a lot of fun to do thank you, thank you. Thank you.